Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to initiate SSH to Nexus device using SSH key pair rather than password. In that way from the trusted host you will be able to log into Nexus device without password and it will be very helpful when you do some automated tasks from remote machine. Here in my Nexus device other than IP reachability, I don't have any other configuration. Yeah, you can see here I have only management IP configured and I have a username called admin. First we need to generate a key pair. So I am inside the folder data 05 python demo ssh key. You can see there is no file in this folder. First we will generate a ssh key pair. The command is ssh hyphen keygen hyphen b then key length then hyphen t rsa now it will ask for the location i will give this location plus i will give any name we can give here it doesn't even need to be username we can give any file name for identifying it for the admin one i am giving the name admin one enter now you can see there is two files in this folder you can see there is some restriction for this file now now we'll remove the restriction actually in real time scenario you don't need to remove the restriction but to show one error which comes from nexus i'll first remove the permission and I'll keep these files open accessible for any user in this machine so for that I'll do yeah now you can see that permission error has gone now we need to copy the public certificate to Nexus device and we need to add that as a trusted host trusted user key for that, I'll go to my Nexus device. So for copying the file, we need to give the this command. We'll be using SCP for copying the file. I'll give my machine IP here. This 121.13 is my machine IP. Yeah, it is asking for the VRF name. I use default VRF here. Management. Yeah. Now we can see the file admin one here. Now we need to configure the user. Configure. username I'll create admin one and SSH key file boot flash admin one dot pub, the public public key of the user so now what it says user may not be present so we need to create the user first username admin1 then we can give role any role we can give we give network admin now I'll give the previous command again Now you can verify the configuration. Here you can see the SSH key of that particular user. Now we'll try to log in to 
nexus using this key in this terminal so I have removed all the permission from these files ssh hyphen i I need to give the private key of the key pair so the private key file name is admin1 if you want to verify that this file yeah this is the RSA private key ssh hyphen i admin1 then the username admin at 168 67.21 yeah now this error is because I have given full privilege I have removed all the restriction for that particular file so what it says the private key admin 1 is to open so we will change the permission of that file ch400 for all the file I will change the permission and you can see now again that restriction has come now we will try to execute again yeah you can see it is logged in without password now and i have a privilege of network admin now now if you want to execute a particular command from this terminal directly you can execute it here you can give it in this way show version you get the output directly in the terminal here show VLAN any output it will print here so it will be very helpful when you do some automated task from the remote machine and you can add the remote machine as a trusted PC in Nexus and you can execute it I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to initiate SSH using SSH key in Nexus Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.